The next few minutes on this record have been devised by Hi-Fi Weekly and Record Review to assist you in checking the connections of your Hi-Fi system and additionally to provide a sample of the fascinating dummy head stereo technique. The best results will be obtained by locating your speakers along a wall with about 9 to 10 feet separation and at a height where the high frequency drive unit is approximately at ear level. If the speakers cannot be placed to meet this requirement, they may be tilted slightly to angle the beam of sound towards the listener. The ideal location for the listener will be at a point approximately 8 to 10 feet from each speaker. Channel identification. This band is used to identify the left and right hand channels of your stereo system. At the moment, my voice should be coming to you from the right hand speaker. If this is not the case, take the following action. If your turntable is separately connected to the amplifier by two phono plugs, check that the red plug is connected to the input marked right and the other plug to the input marked left. If this is correct and needs no alteration, then reverse the two pairs of wires connected to the speaker output terminals on the amplifier so that the pair originally connected to the terminals marked left are now connected to the terminals marked right and vice versa. Please turn off the amplifier before making these changes. My voice should now be coming from the left speaker. If you completed the previous test, there should be no need to make any further adjustments to the wiring of the amplifier. As a final check that your connections are correct, my voice should now be coming from the right-hand speaker. If all is well, you should now proceed to the next test. Channel phasing. The purpose of stereo is to provide a means of reproduction whereby the origin of a sound can be located. The system will only provide this if the two speakers are in phase. This means that the drive unit cones of both speakers move either in or out together. If your speakers are correctly connected, my voice should appear to come from a sharp, defined location near the centre. As a comparison, we'll now reverse the phase of the signal to one of your speakers. My voice should now appear diffused and difficult to locate. It will also sound more hollow, and lacking in bass frequencies. The reduction in bass will be particularly noticeable if your two speakers are turned to face each other and separated by about 24 inches. In the event that you suspect the phasing of your speakers is incorrect, turn off the amplifier and reverse the two wires connected to one of the speakers and repeat the tests on this band. Balance test. My voice should appear to be coming from a central point between the two speakers. If this is not so, adjust the balance control on your amplifier to correct the fault. Repeat the test until the correct results have been obtained. Speaker location and stereo imagery. Although the ideal speaker location to produce good stereo has been described earlier, it will not always produce an ideal and balanced spread of the stereo image. Walls or other large surfaces close to one speaker can distort the sound picture. In such a case, you may need to experiment with new locations for the speakers. My voice should now be coming from the left speaker. As I continue to speak, I am moving slowly across the sound stage to the centre. I am moving now and my voice should be coming from your left speaker towards the centre. You will hear it move from your left speaker until it ends in the centre. My voice should now be in the centre and I am now going to move across slowly to the right hand speaker. I am moving now. My voice should now be moving from the centre across to the right hand speaker. It should not move in any other direction but from the centre to the right hand speaker. And my voice should now be coming from the right hand speaker.
If you were unable to pinpoint my voice as I moved, it may be that your speakers should be relocated away from close surfaces. Dummy head stereo. For this track, you'll need to wear headphones. The best results will be obtained if they're of the open back type. When you have the headphones on, proceed to the next section of the record. Now relax in your chair and close your eyes. I'm standing about four feet in front of you, and now I'm going to turn and walk to the front left corner of the room. I'm turning now, and I'm walking over to the front left corner of the room. I'm right here in the corner, and now I'm going to move down the left wall. Now as I move down the left wall, you'll notice there's a feeling of spacious atmosphere from all directions, and that you can hear sounds even from behind you. Right, I'm standing in the left corner of the room, and now I'm going to move towards you, speaking as I walk so that you'll hear me coming in, till now I'm about 24 inches from your left ear. Now I'm going to move in closer still. Closer, 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 until I'm talking directly into your left ear. You can really hear that? Good, I'm moving out again. Now I'm moving out, and now I'm going to move round behind you. Round I go until I end up about 24 inches from your right ear. Now I'm going to turn and move towards the right-hand corner of the room. I'm moving over now to the right-hand front corner of the room. Now I'm here. And now I'm going to move back to a central position as I started about four feet in front of you. Well, that concludes our demonstration. We hope you found our record both interesting and of use. If you wish to learn more about dummy head stereo, take a look through the pages of this week's Hi-Fi Weekly. Our thanks to the staff and engineers of the BBC for making this record possible.